gonna be a windy day today. It's nice to be out here and the sun's already mostly up. We've gotta move our hay today. We got that hay paddock finished. Jeremy got the hay paddock finished this week. We set the post for the gate. Gotta get it all moved today. Hopefully, my brother-in-law's supposed to be here in a little bit with the flatbread trailer. Help us get started. I've officially kicked everybody out of the shop. <laughs> because a couple mornings ago, dude got in an altercation with the raccoon, which is fine. That's kind of his job, but I don't want a raccoon in my shop. It wasn't in the shop. Well, good morning, Dottie. Somebody's been out playing, so I didn't want the raccoon to find the dog food, end up in the shop, have to get it out. This is a good motivator to go ahead and kick Shrub out for now. She hasn't really been in here that much. I don't think anybody won the altercation with the raccoon. He managed to chase it off, sort of. It was on our flatbed trailer. He couldn't get to it because of where the trailer was. He was just sticking his head through the side and barking at it. And it couldn't get away because it couldn't get away from him because it's backed up to the fence. And raccoons are not very fast. Okay, I've got to get the two kittens out of here now. I have the breakfast. Let's go. Come on. There's plenty of food in Shrub's bowl. So I know if they were starving, there was food to eat. But I'm trying to get them to eat some ice. Let's have some breakfast, goat. This morning, Daisy, running feeder to feeder like she does, decided she didn't like her feeder this morning. They all get the same amount. It's all equally divided, but they get all frustrated. Good morning. Come on. morning she hasn't gone for their food and the more spread out it's been it's been better so I think the problem is mostly that I'm standing there so she thinks there's like more food and not full even though there's still plenty of food in her bowl it's really not a big deal because she just leaves her food and they can eat out of her bowl it's just kind of doesn't bode well for trying to feed them different food we may just get them a feeder that's up off the ground they're gonna need hay and all that anyway so Twiz is doing some but sniffing this morning. It's too early for Nani to have gone back into heat. So my guess is she's probably in heat. We will see. But I just made a very strange noise. Everybody okay? There seems to be. So we have Joel coming with the trailer, and then Jeremy will be on the skids here, and I'll be on the tractor, and we'll load. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do. There's only gonna be three of us, so we're gonna load hay on two trailers and drive it out and then unload it. So not really sure. I'm sure he has an idea. Hi buddy. Good morning. You ready for breakfast? which is where my dad graduated from college. I grew up in the Ole Miss fan in the Grove, Saturdays in the fall. And of course, Jeremy grew up a Razorback fan. His whole family is Texas fans though, so it's really funny. Supposed to do that at like 2.30, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. 
and they're all ready to go out. It's not happening. No more pin. Got all the T-Post pulled. No, there's no more pin to go to. There's not, giraffe. Sorry. We need to go check on Zelda really quick before we get started. I didn't come out. I was kind of late eyes on everybody last night, but I didn't give her a good once over. We're getting so close. With her, two weeks. So not this weekend, but next weekend. Like, I know today, Saturday. Like, so not Saturday a week from now, but Saturday two weeks from now. Everybody puffed out. Tinkerbell, still doing great. I'm trying to headbutt everybody. Where are you, babe? Still looking good. Still looking good. Yeah. Still look good, babe. Hopefully I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the hay moving and hauling today. As it is with these projects, sometimes you just have to pay attention to what you're doing instead of filming. But hopefully I'll show you guys a little bit of that. We'll see how it goes. I would show you guys the completed hay paddock out here. Jeremy put it together this week and then we put all the hay in it and hung the gate and it's done. So here's where all the hay is. Paddock, it's a swinging gate. And so hopefully when I come out to put hay out or to check on cows or when um, Jeremy's dad does it or he does it, those of us who aren't as confident as Jeremy is walking around with them can drive in here with our range cubes and dump them over the top into the corral so there's something in between you and the crazy cows that are excited about range cubes. So what he did was kind of put range cubes all throughout the corral to kind of get them to walk through it. Again, just trying to get them comfortable. They're like any other animal that if you feed them in here all the time they're not gonna have any trouble coming in they're gonna see you and they're gonna come to a spot and they're already learning so when he drives through and honks the horn that he's bringing range cubes and they're already coming to this spot they don't like to be pinned up so they're not gonna come out here just for fun but if we can constantly pair the pin with food pin with food basic Pavlov classical conditioning it will be no problem to get 13 animals into this pin and that's always the issue we had with having it up at the front of the house was there was just no easy way to get them to it and feed them. And this is a really good way to check on everybody. Everybody's feet look good. Everybody looks to be in really good health. It just looks really great. Stacked up all the hay with the skid steer and I put some of it in here with the tractor. Took us about four or five hours, but it's here. It means you drive your tractor out, you feed them, roll your tractor in, take two bales out for them. High ground, this is probably one of the highest spots on our property. Is right here so it's never gonna be muddy no matter how much rain we get we're not gonna rut it up and the long-term goal is to possibly put a little garage out here to store the tractor or the skid steer in the summer just like one of those like camper carports so that the tractor doesn't even have to come from the front of the house back it can just be out here and that just saves us time we can ride the four-wheeler out here or 
walk if it's super muddy and then just move things, not rut up things, no matter what the water's like. Hay paddock is done. Still a little bit of work left on the corral, but the ne absolute necessity of the corral is done. And now it's just finishing out and making it just right with the palp chute and the loading chute and using the rest of our panels. It's really exciting to get this big project done. Curly's confused. I think he wants to be in there, but he doesn't know how to go. Hereford bulls are not the smartest, but they sure are cute. In fact, they're like miserable to try to move because they have no idea what's happening. So if you don't get them with the whole herd the first time, you're probably not gonna get them. That's the only complaint that we have about them is if they're by themselves, they're impossible to get to go where you want them to go. Just because they're stupid and can't figure it out. It's gonna be super windy. So we just got dressed for the football game and that is a huge deal. So now that all the hay is gone, all this fencing can be torn down and done correctly. So we can finish pulling, we can create our road and all of that can be torn down. We did give the cows a little bit as well and he left me. These two bales are for the goats and the calf and I think that's gonna be enough for them for now. It may be that further on down in the winter we may have to go back out and get one more but that's not a, not a big deal. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We're really supposed to do all this until Sunday but fingers crossed it's actually gonna rain so that we can get all of that just moisture back in the ground so that tea posts will be easier to hammer in. We are just waiting. We'll get you some water. Hmm. Oh, there's a pig. Where's my other pig? Where's the big pig? Do you need some water, grassy pig? Mm-hmm, you need some water? Okay, I'm gonna get you some water. Find the big pig. So the girls were super sad this morning that they didn't get to go in the backyard. They all lined up. It's Saturday, which they only know it's Saturday because we get up later. Like, I firmly believe that that's the only reason is that, like, number one, Jeremy's outside. It's a little bit later. It's the favorite hangout spot under the tree. Woo. Okay, I have dust all over me and in my eyes and nose. And I just took a shower to get rid of. This bear, are you sad that we took all your hay bales? Huh? Are you sad? Yeah. He loves to stand up on them and bark, but he also likes to get up there and poop on them when it's too wet outside. This gets here and so well. Jeremy's able to stack them all up up there. Where's Big Pig? Workshop! Big Pig! Where is he, Tony? Hmm? Where's our Big Pig? Big Pig! Big, 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 big! Oh, there he is. Buddy, what are you doing? There he was. He was sleeping back there. Nice man, because I woke him up for no reason. Sorry, big pig. Finally mowed most everything that was left this week. Except for in there. Probably need to get in there and do that. And things that could be mowed with the mower and not the brush hog. There are still several things that need to be brush hogged because they're, it's tall. And... All right, Mr. Bear. I'll see you later. He's like, uh, it's time for a nap. Kept him up all morning. Probably busy watching for that raccoon all night long. All right, girlies. Mama, see you when she gets home. To see you when she gets home. Hello. Hello. What are you doing, Pop Popers? Is everybody? It's a lot of you. 
does not sound like anybody was in heat this afternoon. There's been no screaming. Everybody's been really chill, but it has also been windy. I think everybody's taken care of. Hay's done. Massive thing off the list. Put everybody to bed later. Sorry, cat. Making sure the cat was not in the shop. We're trying to lock it up at night. I don't want my raccoon friends to be in there. Back from the ball game in Arkansas won. So that was fun. Playing Ole Miss. Like I said, I grew up an Ole Miss fan, so wish Ole Miss had played better, but they didn't. We'll see if we can get the goats in. Goaties! Go, 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 goats! Here they come. Come on, girls! Come on! Hi, babies! Your mama say night night to you? Huh? Come here! Come on, everybody! Come on in! No twizzer. Hello! <laughs> I'm so good. Come on! Come here, Papa Bird! No. Come here. Yes, come here. Hello. It's Daisy. Because Daisy has stopped. Nobody else can come in. Daisy, come on. Come on, Daisy. Come on. See, Bunny's gonna run around it. <gasps> Hi, Bun. Oh, hello, my sweet girl. Hi, best friend. Well, I think this is, oh. That's not nice, don't do that. Oh, oh, we're just gonna go at it. Well, I'm sorry. Well, it's my night-night crew. Everybody else is fine, water's full. All in a night, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, guys. I'm so excited. We're so hopeful that it is gonna rain. A good soaking rain, so some of the fence building that we have to do next week will be a little bit easier. We're gonna call it a day. So I just made a very strange noise. Not really sure. It's not happening. I'm trying to headbutt everybody. Uh, it's time for a nap. Butt sniffing this morning. Okay, I've got to get the two kittens out of here now.